Everyone knows that Peyton's been hurt for yeah. a month. Uh, uh, he had knee surgery on the 14th. He's, we're saying he's on schedule, which he probably is. He should be ready for the opener. Yeah. Uh, people may not know. Everyone knows Jason McKellen because he was the ESPN moment of the year, three-point shooter. And what he's done for uh, focusing the world on, on the, what's going on in the world of autism, you know, it's, it's really come, I mean, it's a part of everyday conversation with everybody now. Everybody talks about it. Everybody seems to know somebody who's been affected one way or the other. Um, but what you may not know about Jason is an AAU basketball coach. He's already signed a deal to be the JV coach at his high school, his alma mater at Athena Greece High School. But how many AAU coaching wins do you have, Jason? 136. 136 AAU coaching wins. I'm, you know, I'm not talking backyard games. We're talking as good as it gets out there. Um, Jason, you know the game is basketball, maybe as well, if not better than the pro coaches. Would that maybe a stretch? I would like to stretch there, but the NBA is a business. Yeah. It's hard to coach top guys, so. Yeah. And I'd rather I'd rather see coaching at the high school level, well, like you do, and then the AAU. That, yeah. that, that's much much more pure basketball, I should point out. You know, yeah. what about a coaching philosophy? And the reason I say that we just had a, my coaching philosophy is every kid deserves a pat on the back every day. We just had a Hall of Fame football coach on uh, Arthur who said the, basically the same thing: the kids need a pat on the back. Pete and, said the same thing, basically. And Pete said the same thing, right? right? Yep, and absolutely. That's the yeah. philosophy. Yeah. Well, what do you do when a kid makes a mistake? He he dribbles a ball off his foot or something. Uh, you, you say something to him, or he does it more than once, you just yell at him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just give it to him, right? <laughs> you got to give it to him. Yeah. <laughs> now, now, you're coaching kids at a very high level, these AAU guys. These aren't, uh, now, in your JV kids, you've had a chance to take a look at these guys. You know what you get coming in, right? Mm-hmm. Do, you, do you encourage them to play other sports in the offseason, like soccer or football in the fall? Uh, it's their own decision. I, I uh, prefer them to play another sport. Uh-huh. You get the thousand shape for basketball, but there's there's two there's a negative and a positive when you put when you have kids for your good players are playing on the sport and you find out if they get hurt. Mm. It's it's bad on uh, your terms. Yeah. So. Hey, by the way, all the Duxbury soccer players out there, especially you JV guys, I've talked to your coach. It happens to be me. Stay off those skateboards. I don't want to see one twisted ankle on a skateboard, <laughs> not in the middle of my seat. How about that, Jason? Those are probably the worst. Yeah, they're the worst, aren't they? Ever seen those clowns on the skateboards? They get up and they, they jump onto the handrails. And they fall and they just... The grinds on the, on the handrail? Yeah, yeah, not even just the handrail. I mean, you hit parts of your body you shouldn't have on a handrail. It just really looks like it hurt a lot. You know? They make entire shows of just highlight clips yeah. of guys falling and breaking bones. Yeah, you, you tell you guys... There's the TV shows on MTV about that, too. Yeah. There you go. Do you, you tell you guys right up front, obviously no smoking and drinking. You tell them to stay off the skateboards? Oh, yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's a code of conduct rule. You cannot have... Uh. Yeah, they have to sign a contract saying they can't drink or smoke or that's anything okay. otherwise. And I'm there include, will be a consequ- uh, there will be a disciplinary action. Uh, uh, I, I will include skateboards on that, by the way, for you Dutch Bay soccer guys, if you haven't heard that by now. Yeah. Yep. So, yeah, so, Jason, you've been busy the last couple of weeks gearing up for school and everything. What else have you been up to? Uh, just... Just same old, same old. Yeah. We have a special guest in the studio, Pete Gill. Pete, you probably heard of Jason. He's been with us every Sunday. He has yes, his moment did. in the sun, making 20 points in four minutes. This is the man himself. You want to say something to him? Yeah, you know, Jason, what you do is just amazing because, you know, there's a lot of people, in the, and I worked in, um, I drove wheelchair vans when I first came up here and worked with a, a lot of kids that, that were in these programs. And what's amazing about it is how little people outside of that don't realize mm. how good the kids are mm. and how intelligent they are and things that they do it's just amazing yeah. and i wish i wish there was more things that could actually get out into the public view okay so people would understand what this is you know instead of somebody rattling off some remark that's derogatory mm. which you'll hear somebody say that but in this case you know i'd like to see more about it you know, like the TV programs mm-hmm. that they've been coming out with, to show actually what it is, you know, how good these kids are and oh, how yeah. good special needs is and stuff like that. There's a whole ton of things. Yeah. Well, it should be given back to the community, too. Absolutely. Yeah. There's no question about that. Yeah. Jason, I, I haven't read your speech in a while here, but I'll tell you, when I do, I, I always 
focus on that one thing that you and your friends that were in uh, those classes in school, you don't want to be thought of as special. That's right. Oh. You know, just like everybody else, you know. You want to be the same. Yeah. You are the same. That's everybody would want to be accepted. Yeah. Ron Burton played professional football yeah. and, because he wanted. He became pretty good in high school. He became became pretty good in junior high. He didn't think he was going to be a pro. He just wanted to be one of the guys. And yeah. so it's all worked out. Yeah. Well, huh? And that's how it happens. Yeah. You know, it really does. You know, kids kids and adults find their levels as they go through life. Mm. And and they they just they shine. I, there's, you know, I said years ago, there's not a bad person born anywhere in the world. I really believe mm. that to this day. Yeah. You know, so when, when you have kids and you have... Uh, they can you just let them grow and you just yeah. you you guide them you put your hand on their shoulder and guide them a little bit they're they're all the same yeah. i mean they we're all the same people yeah except jason is more about basketball than anybody i know <laughs> uh, I, and football too i think i'd have to i'd have to look at red our back before i agree with this one now <laughs> <laughs> Nick, you're, Nick, this is Nick Landry's last program tonight before he goes back to college. Nick, what does knowing Jason meant to you? Well, as someone who himself has a, a milder form of autism, I was diagnosed with Asperger's syndrome when I was, um, I think, 14 years old. Uh. Um, meeting, not only hearing, but meeting JMAC has really... It's made me proud mm. to to know that there are people like me who can do amazing stuff, and you know, I think, and you know, people with autism or Asperger's syndrome, they, they are great kids too. I totally agree. Mm. Yeah. There are so many great people out there who are autistic or who have Asperger's syndrome, and they lead lead very fulfilling lives. Mm -hmm. And I think people forget about that because in the in the times we live in. Yeah. And I think, and I said this to J Mac when I met him. You know what you did was like a breath of fresh air. Yeah. I'll never forget you guys at the Brazilian Grill, at the Casa Brazil. And you guys well, there's talk. a lot of people out there that don't have guidance and they don't have. They don't, they don't have the guidance that their parents have, so they're out there smoking, drinking, and yeah. Yeah. doing all the stuff that's bad for you. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. it doesn't do any good, so like Coach Dungey says, anything uh, nothing good happens after 1 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I agree with him. I agree. Maybe go back to 11 o'clock at night, too. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe bring up a couple hours. I, I yeah. agree with him. 